and um last meeting we uh, some of the topics that we discuss is about the um some of the topics in analytic geometry so again let's re uh, let's recall that uh there is something called a slope of a line segment so i think it is necessary to discuss or it is relevant to discuss this kind of topic because it is part of the uh the you know, um topics in the differential calculus in the applications so uh, we know that a slope of a line segment is defined as a tangent of angle of inclination of a line so if we so if we have um so if we have two points so if we have two points so here is our first point and and here is our second point so this is our p sub 1 and then this is our p sub 2 so all we need to do is to um connect this kind of points so and then we 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 uh, we created a line a line and this is already the tangent line and then uh we can create here now uh, a right triangle and we know that um this is this vertical line or, or this line is this is our y sub 2 minus y sub 1 and then here is our x sub 2 minus x sub 1 and just recall the the derivation of the formula in the uh distance formula that we had uh, derived last time and i know that it was already cleared and it was discussed in this kind of lesson how this y sub 2 minus y sub 1 and then x sub 2 minus x sub 1 derived so at this point uh we know that this is our distance right this is our distance and we know that, that the formula for our distance is the square root of um uh, x minus x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus uh, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared so and then we have also here a, a theta okay our theta is the slope uh, no i mean the angle of inclination of the line so the slope i mean the 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 angle here is the angle of inclination of the line and then um if so if you're going to ask what would be the formula of the slope of a line so it was already stated in the um in the what they call this um uh, definition that it is defined as a tangent of the angle of inclination of the line so we could say that tangent of the angle of inclination of the line so therefore we can say that if our slope of the line uh, let's assume that it is designated as m so we could say that our um our slope is equals to tangent theta okay so that is based on the definition of the slope of a tangent a slope of a line segment and then if we are going to ask um so at this point we know that in our given uh diagram so this is uh based on the uh, from given two points and then we we connect the, the points and we created a distance or we created a line and we designate it as a distance from point one to point two and then we connected them to form a right triangles and then we we uh, we have already a y sub 2 minus y sub 1 and then x sub 2 minus x sub 1 and for sure this is already um this was discussed last time how did this uh, this uh, variables or this two was derived and then um so at this point we know that we have a theta here so if we are going to find what would be the formula for our slope so we could say that we know the tangent tangent is equals to so katoa tangent is equals to opposite divided by adjacent so if this is our opposite this is our adjacent so uh, so in this right triangle our opposite here is um y sub 2 minus y sub 1 and then our adjacent is x sub 2 minus x sub 1 and then our hypotenuse is the distance so therefore in our m or our slope of the line uh the, the uh the tangent theta is equals to opposite over hypot uh over adjacent so this is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 so at this point so if we are going to ask 
So at this point, if if we have a given point, so assuming that we have a point, so our p sub one is, so if our p sub one is five and zero, and then our p sub two is, our second point is four and three, so we could say that if the problem will ask what would be the slope of the line passing to this point, so from point from five, from uh five and zero, and then four and three. So, so first step is what you need to do is, so if it is required to plot the kind, this point, so yes, you, you must plot this point, but if it is not necessary, so all you need to do is just solve for the slope. So what we need is just use this formula, slope of a line is equals to y sub 2 minus y sub 1, x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So therefore, we could say that our slope is equals to. So the so take note that that uh this is our x sub one, and then this is our y sub one. This is our uh x sub two, and then this is also our y sub two. So in order for you not to be uh, confused or or in order for this kind of problem to be um easy to solve is that you need to designate. So it is okay to to designate for your reference. So um. So our slope, so y sub 2 not n is 3. And then minus our y sub 1 is 0. And then um, x sub 2 is 4. And then our x sub 1 is 5. So minus. So just based on the formula that we had. So therefore, we could say that our answer is the slope of these kind of points is equal to 3 over 3 over negative 1. So 3 minus 0 is 3, and then 4 minus 5 is negative 1. And then, so therefore, overall, our slope is equals to negative 3. Okay. So in so our next example, if we are given if we are given a slope so how or so here. So if we have a point uh, 3 and 2, so, so this is our second example. If we have a point 3 and 2, and then our second point is, our second point is, our abscissa is x, and then our ordinate for the second point is negative 5. And then we are, we have a given a slope of negative 7 over, over 2. Okay, so in this kind of problem, so we already have a, uh, Point, so there, so there are two points, and then we are, uh, we uh, we have a given um, slope of seven and seven and negative negative seven over two or negative seven halves. So at this point, so we are going to find what would be the x of the second point, the the abscissa of our second point. So. Same a uh, same mechanics that we will be um, trying to, or same method that, that we will be trying to solve is, uh, uh, what we need to do is just substitute the uh, for the given in the formula. So, this is our x sub one, and then this is our y sub one. So our x sub one is three, our y sub one is two, and then p sub two not then is um this is our x sub two. So our x sub two is is x, okay. So our negative 5, this is our y sub 2. So given also the slope. So if we are going to substitute these givens in our formula, which is f is equals to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So therefore we have, so our m is negative 7 over 2. And then our y sub 2 is equal to negative 5. And then... Our y sub 1 is negative 2. Also, we have um, x sub 2 natin is x sub 2 is x. This is our x. And then x sub 1 is 3. So in this kind of um, equation, so what we need to do is uh, we need to cross multiply since it uh, so just review your algebra simplification or algebra simplification so we need to cross multiply this equation so negative negative seven times 
times x minus 3. So we have um, negative 7 times x minus 3. And then um, 2 times... So negative 5 minus 2 is... Spiraba. Negative 5 minus 2 is negative 7. So negative 5 minus 2 is negative 7. So yeah, negative 7. So okay, so applying the um, distributive property of integers, so this is negative seven x, negative seven x. So negative seven times negative three is positive twenty one. So equal so negative seven times two with this is um fourteen. So negative fourteen. Okay, so here is our um equation. So negative seven x plus positive twenty one equals negative fourteen. So what we need is to combine the like terms. So negative 7x is equals to um, so negative 40. So minus 21. Okay, so therefore, if we are going to um, solve for x, so we need to divide negative 7. Negative 7. Therefore, we can say that our x, our x here this will be equal to 5. So therefore, the point, so our, the second point is um, 5 and negative 5. So our first point is 3 and positive, uh, 3 and 2. And then our second point is x and negative 2. Where in this loop is negative 7 and 2. Negative 7 over 2. So, ganun lang. So next topic is about the intercept of a line. So, the intercept of a line segment, so if you, if there is, uh, kumbaga medyo, hindi nyo makatch up yung definition, so I think it is um, easy to uh, Google, so just use the internet. So still, I'm going to um, to read the, or, or to share the concept or the basic definition of the intercept. So in the intercept of a line segment, there are two kinds of, uh, we have two kinds of Intercepts. So this is the x intercept and then the y intercept. So assuming again that we have a diagram like this, so this is our Cartesian plane and we have two points given. So, or no, how to determine uh, an x intercept or even a y intercept? So, uh, based on the definition, the x intercept is a point on the line where the line crosses the x axis. So Again, x-intercept is a point on the line where the line crosses the x-axis. So, if this is the line, if this is the line, and then it crosses the, so, so this, uh, this is the x-axis, and this is the y-axis. So, if this is our line, so, this point, it, it already crosses, or it crossed the x-axis. So, so, therefore, that um, this point, this is already the x-intercept natin. Also, the, the same definition of the uh, y-intercept, it is a point on the line where the line crosses y-axis. So therefore, this is the y-axis and this is the line. So it's, it is the point where the, the line crosses the y-axis. So therefore, we can say that this is our y-intercept. So this point is our y-intercept and then this point is our x-intercept. So we know that in this area, or in this line or in this axis, our y here is so our y is equals to so in this um in this point so our y is equals to zero right so in this point so our x is equals to zero so therefore if we are going to solve for the y intercept what we need to do is just equate our axis to zero okay and then vice versa if we're going to find the x intercept of a particular problem or equation what we need to do is we we just need to equate the y's equals to zero so to find the y intercept what we need to do is just equate the x to zero so to find the x intercept we need to equate y equals to zero okay so the same concept is we need to use the equation of the um, slope to find for the x and y intercept. So, so if we have a given, so in this equation, 
So if we are given such functions, so wait lang, sige, hinahin natin. <laughs> okay. So to find the um, x and y intercept, so diba, uh, again, we our slope is equal to y minus 2. So y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So diba, this is our, uh, this is our slope. So we are going to find the x and So if we have a given, so pag may given tayo na, what we need is just, so if, though in, a, in your example, kanina is we have a slope of negative 4 and 3 and negative 2, tapos negative 4. And so if we have given, um, our first point is equal to 3 and negative 2. So, gano'n na ba? Yes. So, 3 and negative 2. And then, our our um, slope is equal to negative 4 over 3. Okay. Negative 4 over 3. Okay. So, if this is our first point, um, 3 and negative 2, and then our um, slope is negative 4 over 3. So, we are going to find the x-intercept. So, the x-intercept. So, what is the x-intercept? And then, what is the y-intercept? So assuming that this is our x-intercept. So, so, this is x. So in this um, example is uh, we are going to find the slope. Oh no, we are going to find the x intercept and then the y intercept. Tapos, um, we are just uh, given the first point three and negative two, and then our slope which is equal to negative four over three. So again, if we are going to recall the concept of the intercept of a line segment is so to uh, this point so if a line crosses the y axis that is the point of the y intercept so if the line crosses so this is our line so if the line crosses our x axis this is the x intercept so if we are going to to uh, to find the the coordinates of this point, we know that this is already, our y here is equal to zero, diba? At x axis, our y is equals to zero. And then at y axis, our x is equals to zero. So this is just how are you going to solve for the x and the y intercept. So what we need to do is just equate y to zero to find the x intercept and then equate x to zero to find for the y-intercept. So in this example, we are given a one function, a one a point, three and negative two, and then given the slope, which is equal to negative four over three. So to solve for the x-intercept, so let's find for the x-intercept first. So you cannot solve this one simultaneously. So just solve one at a time. So wag niyong pagsabayin. So, x sub n or to find for our x intercept so let's find for x intercept first y sub 2 is equals to so let's say that that this is our y minus y sub 1 is negative 2 times okay so this is negative 2 and then our x sub 2 is x tapos minus x sub 1 is 3. So here is our, so since we are just, uh, we need first to find the x intercept, so what we need to do is we equate y is equal to 0. So again, our y here is just our y sub 2. So, so ikaw bahala, so pwede liwat, ang iibutan nga di is y sub 2, or ini nga di x sub 2, so, so your x sub 2 is your x intercept, and then y sub 2 is your y, uh, x sub 2 is your x intercept and then y sub 2 is your y intercept so okay so depending sa you so anyway the so what matters is the value so y now is equal to zero since it is the requirement for to find the x intercept so we need to equate to y to zero what we have now is uh, negative 4 over 3 
equals to zero so this is already zero and then our negative negative times negative so this is positive two and then x minus three okay so x minus three natin is copy lang so at this point so this is just an application of cross multiplication so negative four times x minus three negative four times x minus 3. And then 3 times 2 is 6. So at this point, negative 4x, so applying the distributive property of integers over subtraction. So negative 4x, and then, so do not neglect the negative sign. So you should include the negative sign included in um, negative, in the, in this coefficient. So negative 4 times negative 3 is this is positive 12. So equal 6. Okay, now next step is we need to um, combine like terms. So negative 4x equals to 6 minus 12. So therefore, if we are going to solve for the uh, negative 4, so let's divide all sides by negative 4. So cancel the x will be equal to, so 6 minus 12 divided by negative 4 is, this is 3 halves. Yeah, so this is already our, so this is our um, x-intercept, so this is already our x-intercept. So our x-intercept is 3 halves. So next step, if we are going to solve for the, uh, if we need to solve for the y-intercept, so again, so now, so our, so, okay. so if we are going to now is uh, um, our x-intercept is equals to 3 halves. Next step is to solve for the y-intercept is what we need is just equate our x to 0. So the same concept, so negative 4 over 3, so we need to so this one equate to 0. So let's um, cross multiply. So negative 4 times negative 3, this is positive 12. And then uh, 3 times um, y plus, so negative times negative is positive, so y plus 2. So positive 12. And then apply, applying the... Um, Distributive property of integers over addition. So 3y. 3 times 2 is positive 6. So now is let's combine like terms. So 12 minus 6. Let's transpose 6 to the right left side. So this is 3y. So let's divide all sides by 3. So therefore, our y-intercept, where our y is equals to 2. So the, I think this is 2. Okay, cancel. So that's how are we going to solve for the x and y-intercept. So the same concept lang. So ganun, so okay na yung one problem. Next topic is the midpoint of the line. So, diba, midpoint. So, this is, I know, uh, I think it was discussed last time, pero dito yung laan nagsulod, and then medyo choppy. So, so let's, let's recall. So, again, let's, uh, the same concept, we, uh, we are given two points, P sub 1 and then P sub 2. And then, um, this, the, the 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 middle point of this kind of points or between the points is the, that is what we call the midpoint of the line where in the point p is the midpoint between points p sub 1 and p sub 2 so this is our midpoint so the middle point of the line so kotongon mo siya so this is already our midpoint so to solve for the the abscessa of our midpoint, so here is our formula, the abscessa of the midpoint, or the x of the midpoint, so in shock. So what we need is just add 
x sub 1 and x sub 2 and then divided by 2. So, so th that is uh, how are we going to solve for the abscessa or x of the midpoint. And then for the ordinate or our y, it will be equal to y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by 2. So this is the formula to solve again for the abscessa of our of our midpoint. And then this is our the formula for the ordinate of our midpoint. So given example, we have uh, two points. So we have two points given negative 4 and 3. So this is our given and then given also uh, positive 2 and 7. So, so this is already the answer. So uh, our answer last time. So how did we derive or how did we get this kind of answer is we just, we just need the, the formula. So x will be equal to x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by 2. So our x, our p sub 1 is negative 4 and 3. P sub 2 natin is 2 and positive 7. So at this point, x natin is will be, or our abscessa for the midpoint will be equal to negative 4. P sub 1, x sub 1 plus x sub 2 is 2 divided by 2. So negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2 divided by 2. So this our x in the um, abscessa for the midpoint is negative 1. And then to, uh, to, to solve for the ordinate for our midpoint, it is equal to y sub 2 is 7 plus 3 over 2. So therefore, 7 plus 3 is 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Therefore, our abscessa is again is negative 1 and then our ordinate is positive 5. So at this point, so our midpoint is equal to negative 1 and 5. So, ganun lang kadali how to find the midpoint. Hey guys, before I, I forgot to discuss, so may na ano lang. So, so let's, ano mo na, so, so, sa slope of the line segment, so, patry na lang sini, pa, pa, na ni, so, pa, take note na lang. So, if our slope is, so, 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 this is our, our Cartesian plane, x and y axis. So, if our slope is, going like this so this is our slope so this is our first point second point so our slope is positive we have a positive slope here so if our slope is like this so again please take note bangin, bangin, uh, this will be some of the question in the exams or even in terms so if our slope is like this so this is a negative slope if our slope is parallel to the x-axis ganyan our slope is this is a zero slope zero slope last one if our slope is Parallel with the y-axis, our slope is undefined. Okay, so this is an additional ins, uh, inputs undefined. So.